All right, today we're going to talk about your nuts. Not those nuts, the nuts you put in your mouth. Nah, that wasn't good either. Specifically, we're going to talk about the effects certain nuts have on your testosterone, which ones you should stay away from, and which ones you should keep in your diet. And like all my videos, I'm going to link to the case studies I found relevant in the bottom, but my personal stance on this is I think all case studies are inherently flawed, right? Whether by the bias of the researcher himself, herself, or, you know, the participants of the actual case study. I mean, think about it. How many people do you know that could follow a certain protocol for 30, 60, 90 days and not have any variance whatsoever that'll kind of skew the results of that case study? And like I always say, the best case study and the best research you can do is on yourself. Turn yourself into a human experiment and you'll get the best results and you'll know exactly what works for you. Let me start by saying I never consider nuts anything other than a fat source in terms of macros, right? Yes, most nuts are packed with some of the essential amino acids, but all of them are lacking at least one of the nine essentials. And for me, that discounts their viability immediately. Also, remember I'm vegan, so it'd be very easy for me to justify packing together seven different nuts to create a full amino acid profile, but to me, that's just ignorant, right? And it's just not following my golden principle of highest and best. The only thing I'm concerned with is their lipid profile, how it affects the body, and whether they're a protagonist or antagonist in terms of testosterone health. So the first thing we gotta look out for is any nut that's been linked to increasing SHBG, which is sex hormone binding globulin. Now this is made in the liver, it binds to DHT and testosterone, which makes it really hard for you to understand how much free test you actually have in your body. Testosterone needs to break free of SHBG to be usable in active testosterone. Essentially, it controls cell active testosterone. Next, we gotta look out for nuts that are high in polyunsaturated fats. Those nuts contain very sensitive bonds that are affected by heat, light, and oxygen. They increase oxidative damage in storage tissues, and they become rancid in the human body through a process called lipid peroxidation. So another thing we have to look out for is nuts high in phytosterols or plant sterols. Now, one of the benefits of these is they've been linked to significantly decrease your LDL cholesterol. Now, the problem is phytosterols have also been linked to reducing testosterone metabolism through inhibiting 5-alpha reductase, a membrane-bound enzyme that converts testosterone into dihydrotestosterone. So with that being said, which nuts should we stay away from? Well, almonds and walnuts are high in polyunsaturated fats and have been linked to increasing SHBG. Also high in polyunsaturated fats are pine nuts and peanuts. Now, peanuts are legumes, but that's beside the point. I'm gonna put a link in the description to a list of the top rated polyunsaturated fat foods. You can check it out for yourself, and it's gonna give you the top oils, nuts, seeds, everything you can think of that you need to stay away from in terms of polyunsaturated fat. Which brings us to our final point of what the hell can we eat, right? What nuts are good for us? Well, there's two on this list that I think are the end all be all. And I've seen some other videos and people talk about some crazy tiger nuts and stuff that I've never even eaten before. They didn't make the list. The two that you really should put in your diet are Brazil nuts and macadamia nuts. Why did they make the list? Well, they don't have a high phytosterol count. They're not linked to increasing your SHBG, and they're a monounsaturated fat, not a polyunsaturated fat, so they're already inherently better for you. Now, I know that was a ton of information, but I tried to condense it down in the most consumable form possible. So if you liked the video, click the like button. If you wanna subscribe, please do. I got more videos coming out on testosterone health, um, things about being a vegan that I'm super passionate about, bodybuilding, everything you can think of. So subscribe, I'll see you in the next video. Have an incredible day and get after it. We're gonna talk about your nuts. No, not those nuts. The ones you put in your mouth. Nope, still wrong. <sighs> Today, let's talk about your plums. Feeling them plums. Holy hell. The ones you put in your mouth. What was that? Why did I do that? Holy hell, look at that. 